Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Paris Kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me. It is wonderful to have you here again this weekend. I really do hope you're all safe and well and looking after yourselves. As you know, this is Ramadan. For myself, my family and many, many millions of others, this is day 15, the 15th fast day of Ramadan. Now, you might remember last week I showed you a really simple but utterly delicious mutter palau. So, what I'm going to share with you today is my zarda palau. And zarda, I believe, means yellow. It refers to the colour, but in the main, it is the reference made when it's sweet rice or candied rice. In times gone by, this would be one of the dishes served at uh, times of celebration uh, by way of dessert. So I'm going to share with you my version of Zarda Plau. I really hope you give it a go. It is absolutely wonderful. Just one look out. If you're using, say for example, two cups of rice, normally it would be two cups of sugar as well. I don't like mine quite as sweet, so I knock it down to a cup and a half. But other than that, please do enjoy the recipe. And this is how I make Zarda Plau. So for the ingredients, I have rinsed and soaked two cups of basmati rice. I rinsed it about five times. I have got a cup and a half of sugar. I've got about 10 glassy cherries that I've chopped in half and I've blanched and peeled a handful of almonds and I've got 60 grams of butter. I was taught to use 50 grams per cup of rice, however, I feel that's a bit too much. And I've got some yellow food color. What I'm going to do first of all is boil my rice in plenty of water and then drain it. I'll let you see as it's boiling away. Now that's the rice boiling away. I've added in about a quarter of a teaspoon of the food colour and it's started to boil probably about two minutes ago. I'm going to give it another minute and drain it off. Okay, so that's my drained rice looking amazing. To my pot that I boiled the rice in, I've added in the butter and the sugar. I'm going to let it all melt together. I'm going to add a few drops of water, but I'll let you see as I do. Now, this is where we're at. I've got my kettle already boiled. And what I'm going to do is add in a little drop of water. There we go. And that is going to help dissolve the sugar. Now that the water has been added and it's foaming away the butter and the sugar, I'm going to add in my fruit and nuts. There we go. I'll mix them through and let them cook for a few minutes. Now the fruit has been cooking away for about a minute in there. It's gone lovely and frothy and bubbly. Now I'm going to add my rice. I'll let you see once it's added. That's the rice in. I'm going to mix all of the lovely sugar, nuts, everything through the rice and I'll let you see once it's done. That's everything cooking away beautifully. All I've done is I've sealed the lid with some aluminium foil and that way I'm going to pop it on and let the rice cook away on the lowest gas setting for about 15 minutes turn it off and then leave them for a further 30 minutes. I'll let you see as I open the lid. Okay. So I've just broken the seal from the candied rice and this is what you end up with. Absolutely beautiful rice with everything in there, smelling of cardamom, stunning. Enjoy. So guys, that is it. That is how simple and easy it is to make such a wonderful, vibrant dish that would warm up any home. Just looking at that makes me feel happy. 
I really hope you give it a go. Please do continue to like, please continue to share with your friends and family, spread the word so that we can get more followers learning how to cook amazing Punjabi food at Parv's Kitchen. And remember, I'm on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful, kind, generous comments. And I really look forward to seeing you again next weekend. Take care, look after yourself. Bye-bye.